Hello, welcome to Show of the Week. I'm Mike. And I'm Jane. And this week, I've been trying to figure out where Assassin's Creed rogue protagonist Shay Patrick Cormack is actually from. The air is still. And I am a hunter. I want to say Holland. Okay. Meanwhile, I've been preparing for Gamescom next week. Oh my, it's not time for Gamescom yet. We only just had E3, like... Oh no! Oh yes, Gamescom is taking place in Cologne, Germany next week from the 13th to the 17th of August and we're going to be there to bring you the most exciting stuff direct from the show. We are. Stop crying. Things kick off Monday with the premiere of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's multiplayer, which you can watch on your Xbox dashboard at 7pm Central European time. There, Sledgehammer Games is going to show off how much wearing an exosuit is going to change the Call of Duty multiplayer experience. I'm guessing quite a lot if the flying jump kicks and jetpacks we've seen so far are anything to go by. The day after that is the Xbox press conference, where Remedy has promised the first gameplay from wibbly wobbly timey wimey action game Quantum Break that will, quote, leave you speechless. Microsoft has also promised big surprises you won't want to miss, just don't expect to be able to talk about them because of the aforementioned speechlessness. EA has a press conference too, on Wednesday August 13th at 10am Central European time, where it will show off Battlefield Hardline, plus FIFA 15, Dragon Age Inquisition, Bioware's new game, more on that later, and possibly a look at Mass Effect 4 after it was teased at Comic Con. Also, how about more of Mirror's Edge 2 EA, that'd be nice. On Wednesday, there's also a Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain livestream happening over on Twitch at 8pm Central European time with new gameplay and a live Q&A with series creator Hideo Kojima. Someone ask him if he's ever seen this film called Escape from New York. Dare you. Assassin's Creed Rogue will be playable for the first time and we'll definitely be seeing more of Far Cry 4 and The Division and possibly of extreme home makeover game Rainbow Six Siege. Dead Island 2 will likewise be playable for the first time and, moving into the territory of wild speculation, some people reckon Arcane Studios will announce Dishonored 2 Darkness of Tibia, though given that the last time that was rumoured they failed to spell access properly, we're not holding our breath. Also Valve are listed as attending Gamescom, so Half-Life 3 confirmed of. So subscribe and keep an eye on us next week for all the news from Gamescom 2014. See you there! But if he was Irish, why wouldn't he have an Irish accent? Yeah, sorry, what was all that shouting Mike was doing about Gamescom? Oh, it's Gamescom next week. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. It was E3, like... Oh, no. Right? Still, there's going to be some exciting stuff, like that new Bioware game. Oh, the horror game, yeah. No, it's a sci-fi thing. It's a detective game. So far, the new game from the developer of Mass Effect and Dragon Age is more mysterious than all my missing socks. In late July, Bioware posted a first live-action teaser trailer. Publisher EA then slipped up and leaked the game title in this file name, or so it seems. So bam, there's your game name right there, probably. But what is Shadow Realms? No, really Andy, I'm asking you. Well, Jane, we don't know for sure whether Shadow Realms is for consoles or PC or whether it's even a video game and not, say, a board game or a LARPing rulebook. However, it is an original IP being made by Bioware's Edmonton Studio, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say video game. While the Montreal studio is working on the next Mass Effect game, our team here in Edmonton is developing a completely new IP. From what we've seen so far in that nightmarish first trailer and this electrifying second trailer, I predict this is the studio's first foray into the horror genre. Both trailers play it dark and ominous with sinister figures like Smokey McNoface in Trailer 1 and his brother Hoodie McNoface in Trailer 2. And there's the spooky recurring ring imagery with this fire and this napkin sketch. Also, the first trailer asks, what really happens when we sleep? And the second asks, do you know they are watching? Which are the most sinister questions you can ask after, could someone fit inside your closet? So I'm betting on a horror game. Interesting, Andy. Interesting and fully wrong. Consider the recent third trailer named Impact, which ups the ante with explosive demolition in significantly less scary broad daylight. In it, this girl keeps saying, It's not my fault. In a way, that means it is my fault. I've gone and blown up the family homestead. Along with Shadow Realms' recurring tagline of you've been chosen and this question here, this says to me Shadow Realms is some kind of science fiction game about people acquiring dangerous new superpowers. Maybe they're mutants like the X-Men. I'm also going to say it's a role-playing game since, 
Come on, this is Bioware. It's hardly going to be a rhythm action cookery title. Ah, but Mike, is that a single player RPG or a multiplayer game? The way we've had three trailers with three different protagonists to me suggests custom player characters. Now, Bioware doesn't need another big MMORPG to run with Star Wars The Old Republic on the go already, but the trailers do put me in mind of some kind of online multiplayer experience. Whatever the case, we're bound to find out next week at Gamescom. If we could also find out where my socks are, that'd be great as well. Now it's time to see what you've been saying in the comments and playing in words with friends. Quetzals, triple word score. First, your comments on this video about the real-life history behind Assassin's Creed Unity. You can bet your bottom frank that the Storming of the Bastille will be a playable mission in Unity. Nick Kelly has his priorities straight. He says, spoilers! God, guys. You can't spoil history. It's already happened. Well, I don't know who won the French Revolution, do I? I want it to be a surprise. I've got a good feeling about this King Louis guy. Ah, oh, it's like Game of Thrones all over again. Mr. Georgie Murphy, meanwhile, says, I wonder if they'll put in the Women's March on Versailles. Or would that be too hard to animate? Oh, ho, ho, history burn. Internet high five, Georgie. Finally, the Apache 287 has his own theories, saying, Personally, I think it will be the assassins behind the revolution, and it will be the Templars who try to get the royal family out of Paris and start a counter-revolution. After this fails, the Templars probably back Robespierre and use the Reign of Terror to once again assume absolute control of the country by eliminating the assassin-backed moderates, later leading to the Templars backing Napoleon Bonaparte as he becomes emperor. Napoleon becomes emperor? Spoiler alert. Sorry, sorry, let's move on to this video about the weirdest fighting game endings, of which there are many. Some good suggestions from you guys, including Jedi Dante, who suggests Dead or Alive Mermaid ending, anyone? Now and forever, my love for you, as deeper than sea, let's cherish our lives. What? Yeah, not so super Pete, meanwhile, is amazed they just didn't use them all from the Tekken games. From Hihachi Land to a giant bear trying to give flowers to a panda, there's too many weird endings to count. Man, Hihachi Land looks rad. Is the old man getting beaten up part of the attraction? Yes. Lastly, Brooke Pounceby asks, who else burst out laughing when that guy ran off a cliff? The Black Dragon died with Kano. You're the last one, Jarek. Never! Come on, who of us hasn't done that at some point? I did it on the way here. Finally, your comments on last week's show about the Destiny beta and Mike's regrettable Destiny jokes. What's Destiny's favourite newspaper? I care. The Guardians? Seems everyone's a Destiny comedian, like Chris Hatter, who says, Why is the tower's audio system so bad? It only has one speaker. Hmm? No? Fox Dodge, meanwhile, asks, Why the hell is there dancing in a shooting game? Don't the developers realise it's supposed to be the other way around? What, shooting in a dancing game? Yes. I am way more excited for Dance Central Spotlight now. Isaac DJ disagrees with you, saying that Ghost looks like the baby of Wheatley and a companion cube, saying, I think Ghost looks more like the baby of Cortana and 343 Guilty Spark. The Hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. That wizard came from the moon. Well, Michael Parthen's into it. He says, I officially ship Wheatley and the Companion Cube. Let the fan art begin! How? Oh, that bit extends, you see? Oh. That's disgusting. Right, I'm going back to the studio. You stay here and think about what you've done. Hey, I need that back. No! That's it for Show of the Week, but if you liked it, do make it nice and official by using the like button down there. That way, if the cops come sniffing around, everything's above board. Okay. Also, you can tweet us at OutsideXbox or like us on Facebook, if you'd rather, at facebook.com slash OutsideXbox. See you next week from Germany. I don't get it. Yeah. That bit extends, see? Oh. You. Right?